Hey guys, it's Mr. Sisson. This is just going to be a quick workshop over, over breaking your thesis into pieces and to make it a nice uh, rhyming, memorable activity. We're going to call it thesis pieces. Um, maybe we could get sponsored by Reese's, but that might be too much to say. All right, so uh, I want to take a quick look. I'll break down mine, and so you guys can kind of see what the process looks like. And hopefully it'll make it a little bit easier for you guys to do it to your own thesis. Um, let me just read the instructions at the top. Take your newly approved thesis statement and write in the box below. The next step for your group is to break your thesis into pieces. When dividing your thesis, look for big ideas or concepts. And once you've identified them, put them in their own boxes below. For each piece you identify in your thesis, Find at least three sources you can use for information. Make sure each person in your group takes responsibility for at least one piece of the thesis. You will receive a collaboration grade based on how well you work together to complete this organizer. So up here it got cut off a little bit, but this is going to be worth 10 collaboration points. And it's basically, can you guys all divide this up, take ownership of the different jobs? And so... Um, you'll see right here there's a box for your thesis statement. I've already got mine in. We'll look at it in a second. And then down here you've got a box for your name, which piece of the thesis you have. So each of your group members should do at least one of these. So if there's um, three of you in your group, you don't have to worry about, uh, like, just make sure that you've got your pieces broken up and everyone has at least one. Um, so uh, look at it that way. Um, okay. So here's my thesis uh, on William Jennings Bryan. Although William Jennings Bryan made a courageous stand by resigning as Secretary of State in protest of American entrance into World War I, he was largely ignored because of the outrage over the sinking of the Lusitania, widespread prejudice against Germans, and his own sensationalist personality. So when we talk about breaking our thesis into chunks or pieces, it's because there are, there are huge opportunities for research and more specific targeted research if we break it down. Because right now, what I've basically searched is William Jennings Bryan. William Jennings Bryan, William Jennings Bryan, William Jennings Bryan. And I looked up a lot of different sources on him. But now if I want to really make sure that my project is uh, well-rounded, um, that I understand all aspects of it, I want to look at the individual different topics or concepts within this thesis statement. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way through it, and I'll just put the pieces down here that we can find. And the way I like to do it is to read through and then define the specific individual things that will present more opportunities for research. So, although William Jennings Bryan made a courageous stand by resigning as Secretary of State. Okay, I'm going to put this down here even though um, that's a lot of what I've researched already. So resignation as Secretary of State, because that's, that's its own thing. And so I want to make sure that I have looked up that. In protest of American entrance into World War I. Well, that's part of that same sentence, but American entrance into World War I is much different than just William Jennings Bryan uh, his, of his resignation as Secretary of State. So I'm going to put that and make it its own thing. American, I'm sorry, I'm a lefty. Entrance to World War One. So that's, I've now split that thing. And I'm more specific now. I'm not just looking at his resignation. I'm not just looking at American entrance to World War One. I'm looking at both of those things, and it'll help me have a better understanding. He was largely ignored because of the outrage over the sinking of the Lusitania. That's another piece. I'm just going to put sinking of the Lusitania. Widespread prejudice against Germans. That's another one. I'm just going to put prejudice against Germans. And then lastly, his own sensationalist personality. Um, I'm just going to put Brian's personality. Sensationalist basically means he always kind of made things seem like the end of the world. 
And so whenever he really was like, this is a horrible idea, everyone was like, oh, Brian, yeah, we've heard that before. So I just want you to take a quick look at this, and then uh, hopefully you'll have an idea of where to go. So I've taken this thesis, and now if I want to go back to research, I don't just search Brian anymore. Now I can say, all right, Jimmy, I'm going to make up some fake names. Jimmy, you, you researched Brian's resignation as Secretary of State. Tanya, you searched American entrance into World War I. I'm going to uh, search sinking of the Lusitania. Rachel, I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting all these names. Uh, you're researching preju prejudice against Germans. And Bobby, you look up Brian's personality, William Jennings Brian's personality. And what you need to have, if you want to have a nice, full idea of your research, especially if you're competing, is at least three sources for each of these pieces. Um, that's not even talking about your big overarching sources that you've probably already found for William Jennings Bryan. So um, at the end of, maybe not the end of today, we might give you a little bit of time into tomorrow, but I'm going to take this up for 10 collaboration points. You want to have this completely filled out. As, as much as you can. If you don't have five different pieces to your thesis, um, that could be okay, but uh, you wanna give as many chances as you can for you to pursue deeper research. And the, the more specific you can break up your thesis statement into, the more opportunity you'll have for that. So good luck, let me know if you have any questions.